This week, Dick and Jem take on their most bizarre challenge yet. Look at that. This is ace. They plan to run a pickup truck using a very unlikely fuel source. <laughs> They've teamed up with a band of environmentalists who are trying to cut in the city air pollution. Look at the hydrocarbons. Wow. But will they see the wood through the trees? Or simply get lost in the urban jungle? There's nothing on the battery. Dick Strawbridge is an ex-army officer turned eco-warrior. Jim Stansfield is an inventor with a wild green streak. Two men on a mission to fix the world. One mechanical solution at a time. Together, they are the Planet Mechanics. Dick and Jem's latest mission has brought them to London. They've parked up their horse box and have travelled to town on public transport. The Planet Mechanics don't want to add to the 260,000 vehicles that use London's roads every day. Most of these vehicles run on petrol or diesel, giving the capital some of the worst air quality in Europe. But this group of people are determined to fight back. They're tackling pollution by planting trees. Trees for Cities is a charity that aims to plant one million trees in time for the London Olympics in 2012. The reason is simple. Trees literally eat pollution. They absorb the major greenhouse gas, CO2, and concentrate it into carbon, which is stored in roots, trunks, and branches. But the operation depends on vehicles that run on fossil fuels. And now Chief Executive Graham Simmons wants to green up the motor pool. He's looking for a vehicle that truly represents the charity, something that instantly says, trees for cities. And that's where the planet mechanics come in. Graham. Yes. Graham, good to see you. Lovely, lovely, good to see lovely you. to meet you, Dick. Lovely to meet you, Jim. What can we do for you? Well, we have a problem in that we are transporting lots of stuff around cities, trees and that, and we don't have a very green fleet. You know, we've got these diesel-powered trucks. OK. And you want a green transport fleet that is in keeping with Trees for City? Absolutely. How long have we got? Well, we've got a big event in Sam Hamlet's Cemetery in about a week's time. A, a week? week. <laughs> Is that yeah, we can do is that. Is that doable? One week. Fantastic. Okay. okay bye bye. See you in a week. Yeah, bye. One week. Wood is waste. I don't know what it looked like to you, but it looks like to me, he throws away fuel. Yeah, wood. Oh, it's like exactly the same thing. Wood is a really good fuel. So how are we going to use it? That's a big question. Well, I used to work with a guy who built his own steam lorry. Steam. It, it's grubby, it's dirty, and it's not very efficient. Are we going to actually have big clouds of smoke coming out of vehicles around London and say we're being greener? But it works. It does actually work. Here's one. Try this for size. I saw a picture years ago of a vehicle that turned wood into gas, and it used the gas to run the actual vehicle. They had no oil in the Second World War. They were using things like this. Cracking idea. You, it, no, Dick, it sounds nothing but genius, but you saw a picture of it, whereas I've seen one that actually works, yeah. and it might be a little bit grubby, but it does work. Sense of adventure, mate. All right, we don't actually know what we're doing. A little bit of detail. What you have to do, you have to trust me in this one, Jim. We can definitely... Dick, I do. I trust you, but we have... For the next seven days, the Planet Mechanics will be based at this community farm on the edge of London. <laughs> Dick's all worked up about building a car that runs on wood, but his first job is to fire up a very doubtful gem. You're saying that we should heat the wood, drive flammable gas off the wood, and then use that to run the car? Yeah, no, it's, very, it's a very simple principle. Match, we've got matches, hold on. If you actually have a look at this... Now, look at that. If I just hold that there, right. Let me see. So the clear bit at the bottom, beneath the yellow flame, we're suggesting is the gas coming off the wood, and then it's igniting, and then you get your little sooty flame above it. The yellow one is the incomplete combustion, isn't it? Bumper himself there. So we've got to catch that flammable gas, and then take that 
into the engine instead of petrol. Yeah. No, it's good, it's good, it's good, good. We want to have something that we put wood in. Yeah. Yeah? And when we heat it up, out of that comes gas. Yes. That gas that's coming out, it's going to be very dirty, it'll have lumps in it. First mm -hmm. things first, we need to clean it. What we have to do is put in a, a filter. Yeah. Okay? We need to get rid of the lumps. Yeah. Then, still hot, we need to cool it. Best thing we can do then is put it into... Cooler. A radiator, yeah, or some description. Because over here, oh, look, over here, we've got a car, we've got our vehicle. And the gas that comes out of there, we want to put into there. I would describe that as totally brilliant, but slightly unlikely. But I couldn't be more with you, Dick. If you want to build one of those, I'm there. I couldn't be more behind you. <laughs> Running vehicles on wood gas might sound crazy, but there were over one million gasifiers in use during World War II. They were particularly common in Scandinavia, where oil was scarce but wood was plentiful. In peacetime, oil became readily available and wood power was abandoned and largely forgotten. Well, maybe. Until now. Dick and Jem have bought themselves an old pickup truck and loaded it up with a vast array of old boilers, cylinders and pipes. Somehow, they've got to turn all this into a vehicle fueled only by the combustion of waste wood. To do this in a clean, green way, they're building a gasifier. Incredibly, their system should convert the wood fire smoke and fumes into a pure, flammable gas that can power a standard car engine. Dick is feeling the pressure and is searching out some much-needed inspiration on the net. After a quick trawl, he's come up with a blueprint. But this plan does have one obvious drawback. Have you spotted it yet? Yes, the writing. Yeah, it's Swedish. The, the chap who has made this, it works, you know, this works as a system, but, um... <laughs> it's, there's a couple of things, Dick. <laughs> It's got no dimensions on. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I don't know whether that's actual size. No, 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 or whether no, it's it needs to be... Right, OK. So Dick and Jem have a plan in Swedish, a pickup truck and a pile of old junk. All they need to do now is to build a car that runs on wood. The Planet Mechanics have less than six days to make a wood gas pickup. And one half of the team is still in the dark. Jim? Yep. I don't think you were overly convinced that we could get gas from wood, mate. I think it's brilliant. It just seems a little bit unlikely. But it's not that difficult. Look, here, what's this? It's a little cooking gas stove. Yeah. A kettle full of wood. Oh, yeah. yeah? Okay. That's it. If this works, Dick, I'm kind of halfway to believing the car might work. <laughs> what happens next? We wait for it to heat up and then gas will come off it. And then you will be able to light it. I was pointing at you. Is this going to be the same with the car, though? You have to, like, start it a day before you want to drive anywhere. With a bit of luck, we might get a bit more heat than we're managing here. Right. I reckon we're nearly ready to try lighting that. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, hey! Look at that! That's properly amazing. I'm a complete convert to wood gas now. OK. That's a thing of beauty. No, Dick, this is what we want. Whoa! Hey! hey! Convinced? I'm totally convinced now. All we have to do is scale it up and run the car on it. A kettle scaler. I've heard of them. Dick's proved wood can produce gas, but powering a pickup truck will involve a whole load more than filling up a kettle. Day two and Dick and Jem are keen to get building. Trees for Cities are expecting the delivery of a green running machine for their big planting day at the weekend. First of all, they'll need to make the producer, a cylinder in which wood burns to produce the gas. Burning wood produces clouds of fine particles commonly called smoke. A filter is needed to get rid of the smoke by cleaning out particulates such as soot and ash. A radiator will cool down the gas which could reach temperatures in excess of 700 degrees centigrade. Finally, before the gas enters the engine, it must go through a mixer ensuring the right balance of gas to air. This job is going to be a masterclass in recycling. This old water heater is being given...